night everyone. I thought it was about time today. I got on and coloured um, the desk here from the Wonder Room. This is from um, the Hannah Bassard's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Now I did the chair already and a little bit of some furniture over here but I haven't done the desk and I did have a request from someone to do the desk. So whether that poor person has given up, I'm sorry I can't remember who you were and uh, thought that I'll never get round to it. So they've just had a go anyway, and if you have, good for you. Or whether um, you're still waiting. I'm sorry it's been so long. Just sorry, I'm just finding a piece of paper to pop under the page because uh, I haven't got one there yet. There we go. It always helps to uh, cushion the page and make sure there's no transfer of ink or pencil or anything across. I also need something to lean on. Um, it's uh, near the edge of the book, or the front of the book, and so it's quite difficult to put a pop of book underneath there. I just use another colouring book and then you've got a nice surface. Okay, I had a quick look at what colours we had been using for other things. Now I decided that the red for the chair I'm going to use for a sort of leather top on the desk it's actually drawn out a little bit here so this is 225 from the polychromos I'm using the polychromos as I've used throughout and I'm just going to do start coloring really now 225 is what I use for the chair it's dark red if you want the name and uh, so I thought it would match I thought if it was my um, room I would have the leather on the seat of the chair and the leather on the desk matching I mean, it is an old room full of lovely old knickknacks, so actually we might have had unmatching furniture, but I think it also just adds a little bit of coherence in the picture, brings things together a little bit, because we've got so many different elements that, uh, that um, you know, we're going to have a lot of different colours, so having a few that sort of tie together is uh, quite good I think. Now underneath the desk where the chair pushes in there's a piece at the back. Now some people have said, I'm covering it with my hand, I'll, I'll colour over here so you can see it while I'm talking. They felt that that confuses them a little bit. They feel that that should be the wall behind the desk and that the rug seems to abruptly stop and they they draw, someone has drawn that in and the skirting board, there's a little bit of a skirting board going across here or, or on the floor and things, it just seems to stop. My interpretation of the way that it's drawn is that actually that is the back of the desk and there is a piece of wood there. I mean my desk is, looks really like this one, except yeah, almost identical. I've got four drawers each side, a large drawer in the middle. I haven't got any bit on the back. It looks really similar. I don't have a red leather top, I have a brown leather top. But um, and uh, but I don't have a back piece on the desk, so uh, maybe that's why the person felt that it wouldn't be there. But I think it will. Um, I think it's sort of sitting on the rug. That's, that's how I look at it anyway. It's also a bit easier than trying to draw in the edge of the rug and think about the floor and the wall and where it all comes together. So would do it as if it was um, just, you know, as I say, it's part of the desk. So this is taking some time. It's obviously quite a large area and I'm just doing it in the same even tone throughout. Now we can see paper through. There's a sort of whitishness to it and I think that's fine because leather has a sort of grain almost in it and you it wouldn't look the same colour throughout so you wouldn't want to layer and layer up the colour so it was really flat that isn't how leather would look but now I am sort of almost done with the layer I'm going to have a little think about um, shadowing a little bit and shading because around the items there might be a little bit of shadow I'm just filling that in so I'm going to go underneath some of the edges of things where I think there might be a bit of shadow, particularly the back. So like under this drawer, there's going to be some shadow. It'd be really handy to have drawers at the back of the desk, wouldn't it? Although that doesn't look very wide. Look, 
it's not much room to put things but imagine you have all your pencils in there pastels or your gel pens be very useful I could do is some shelves actually behind my desk for all my books so on a shelf in my hallway to, so someone says oh have you got a photo of that <laughs> not really it's miles away and it's they're all stacked up on top of each other so it's hard to find them it be hard to get them out without them all toppling on the floor which obviously you don't want my books on the floor anyway I'm wittering away I'm just adding a few little bits and bobs of darker colour I think that's okay I'm sort of going to leave that there for now anyway now the browns for both the chair and over here we used a bistra to start with so that's exactly what I'm going to use now and I have a new one I said you may have remembered the old videos I was using a little teeny one now what I'm going to do is all of the brown areas I'm going to do with this it's going to take quite a while to just layer it over but I'm going to do a just a medium pressure I would say so if I decided that I didn't want to add any more to it it would look okay without any extra and obviously it looks similar to the, the chair looks a different color to this maybe i use nougat by mistake i get them a little bit muddled and they're quite similar and um when i had really teeny pencils you couldn't see the names or numbers maybe i used the wrong one never mind we'll go down here now the draw handles I'm not going to colour um, in this colour, obviously. But I've got to think about these dots. They're quite small, so I'm going to colour over them. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on, I'm just going to pull. Oh, sorry, that's better. Oh, I had to uh, blow my nose. My son, son's got a bit of a cold, but that just felt like a bit of a tickle, really. He's, uh, he's feeling really rotten this morning. He didn't get out of bed very quickly normally he's the first one up and he's just up and out I think the fact that he knew he had a bit of maths homework to do as soon as he got up probably was part of the reason he wasn't in such a hurry as usual when he just goes and plays his game but <laughs> poor lad but he um he was feeling a bit rotten but uh, he seemed okay once he left I, I gave him a paracetamol he had he had a he had an omelette wrap for breakfast which was rather indulgent so he had a, a home meal sort of tortilla wrap he made himself an omelette and grated some cheese and had that I made him have a banana I was like need the vitamin C come on have some fruit so he had a banana as well um, he probably didn't need it at all but I just wanted to make sure he had get some vitamin C it might make him feel a bit better as I understand it vitamin C doesn't help to stop you getting a cold or cure a cold but it can help you feel better it can help reduce the symptoms so I thought he could probably do with that all that but uh, at least it's Friday today I don't know what day this video is going out I think it might be going out on a Wednesday I'm trying to think I can't remember what I planned anyway but uh, yeah it's a Friday so he's got the weekend coming off so he hopefully have plenty of time to recover and feel a bit better. Apparently, the, yeah, there's a cold going around college. But I've heard that the Omicron um, um, variant of um, COVID also has cold symptoms, apparently, according to our news. But uh, so I did make him do a test um, before, although we did one yesterday, because we do them twice a week anyway, as our as we're requested to do so and uh, but I just got him to do another one just in case I don't want to send him to college you know wondering whether he had anything nasty um I'm going to color over those dots like I did on the drawers and I've colored over these so I'm going to color over these we shall make something of them later but I'm trying to avoid having to do too much fiddling around with all these little details at the moment and I'll have a think about it. Uh, we're looking through the magnifying glass. We'll colour over that for now. We might go over it again in different colour to sort of make it look slightly different. See, I'm going quite roughly here because uh, these little um, shelves will have a bit more. Oh, sorry, I've got itchy again. Itchy nose again. And we'll have some other details in there. 
and it's quite fiddly. I can hear a siren. I don't like hearing sirens. Hopefully everything's okay. We do live close to the hospital. But that one sounds like we also live near a um, a crossroads. It's got traffic lights on it, and uh, so sometimes the uh, emergency vehicles want to go through when the lights are against them, so they put the sirens on. So I've got through all of that, which is good. And I'm going to think about where we're going to have a few shadows, shading shadows, that sort of thing. So inside some of the drawers and things, it will be really dark. So I'm getting out my Van Dyke brown. I can't talk. You probably can't see that. And I'm going to do the really dark areas. Like over here, I, you can just see the edge of that where I did really dark. Ooh, bang. And I'm going to do that in these. So in the very back, I'm going to do a dark. So we're thinking, we're looking into the back of a little, um, what is this, alcove type thing. I don't think that's the right word. Where there wouldn't be very much light. So it's quite dark at the back. However, the side won't be as dark. So I'm only going to colour that lightly. And the bottom as well, the same. So you see, we can see now it looks more like we're looking back at the I think it gives it a bit more um, three-dimensional effect my head seeing it that way it's always quite hard because we're actually creating if you think about it, an optical illusion so it all depends on how your eye actually sees it and we're trying to trick the eye into seeing something that isn't there which is quite fun We've got this magnifying glass again to deal with. I think I'll do a darker bit through, or I, the illusion probably won't work. And uh, what we might do is we could draw a bit of shine on it so that we can see that it's glassy with a white pen or something, maybe. Just having a think as we go. So there's another one of those done. Got one with the cup in. Or was that for a cup of tea or coffee? I've got a cup of tea beside me now. Oh, there's another siren going by. Oh, I don't like that. Let's hope nothing nasty's happened. So I hope everyone, um, I'm thinking this is going out in the new year. Still, um, um, still with December here. But I'm just getting a few done ahead because I don't know what's going to come in the new year. It's possible um, some people are predicting schools might be closed so I might have family home. My husband can't work from home, he's in a job where he can't so uh, he won't be around but there's a possibility the kids might so I have to come up with a plan for recording without disturbing them and things like that so I thought if I get a little bit done um, in advance then just in case um, you know they're here I can think of a plan I managed before I can't remember I think I recorded in the kitchen hmm. now I'm looking at what else I think this is like a cork notice board so I'm going to leave that for a minute we've got the inside of a bit of a drawer here oh we've got another cupboard there um, I think um, there rest is sort of bits and bob. Here we've got a, a bit of a, oh I'm going to sharpen because I need to get in between those um, bits and bobs. I'm going to have to stop, I'll be back later. Right, I am back with a nice sharp pencil. Um, no, there's no emergency, it's all fine. I had to uh, just go sort something out. Anyway, let's uh, carry on. This has been rather disturbed. Firstly a sneeze. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. So we're just doing this area. I'm trying to just see what's going on in there. I think that bit needs colouring in. I don't know how close, I, as I haven't zoomed really in, I don't know how well you can see. I hope you can see okay. I just wanted to keep the whole area in shot because I knew I'd be sort of going back and forth a lot. That makes sense. There we go. And I'm going to 
do a little bit around there. Um, yes, the back board I'm going to do like this to add that um, three-dimensional look. It also the chair will stand out better as well, which will be very useful because I think it's getting a little bit hidden because the brown's the same. So I hope you're, you and your families are all well, that you're all having a good new year. It's, uh, I find January a bit of an odd time. I always feel a little bit sad because Christmas is finished. I've got to go. Right, hi. I am back. I am sorry. It sounded like there was a huge emergency. There really wasn't. What happened was we were coming down here when we was, my neighbour started playing his piano several times. And uh, I thought he'd finished, so I came back to colouring and he hadn't. Now, I'm quite happy for him to do that. It's lovely, he plays well, it's really enjoyable, but I can't have music in the background of my um, videos without um, acknowledging the source and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, potentially there could be copyright issues. So uh, I have to make sure that, I, it's easier just to make sure you can't hear it. So to stop, but uh, that's okay. But uh, I'm now filling in this uh, bit. I've noticed I've missed a bit there, which I'm just going to pick up Bistra and just colour because I might forget again later. So we're doing this really dark bit. So really I'm just pressing quite hard. If you don't like pressing hard, which I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, um, then just do a few layers. Here I'm going to go over this a little bit, like we did up here on these, just to give a little bit of, of a, a darker colour. Now here, I'm not sure what this is, because we can't see the side of the desk here, so what's this? I'm not sure. I think I might just do that, like that, I don't really know. Now I'm also going to do a little bit of shade underneath here because I feel that this bit would be um, sticking out so there'd be some shadow. So we're just, just trying to work out where it is on this side. There we go. Um, we might see a little bit through the chair there too, mightn't we? Okay, now what else have we got? Now this drawer um, is open so I'm thinking it will be quite dark inside here. I'm not doing it quite as dark as this. And then the reason for that, and I'll show you in a moment, because this bit here is going to be even darker. I'm pressing a lot harder, yeah. Um, and I think the side of this drawer might be a little darker, but I might not use this pencil. Um, here the drawers open so again we'll put a little bit of a darker colour in there. It's open. I'm going to grab the bistro again now and I'm going to do a few darker areas but with this one rather than the really dark pencil. So for example this bit that I spoke of, I think that might just be a darker wood or something. I think above these areas there might be a little bit of shadow maybe they're sticking out a little bit like that um let's have a look through um on the top here i'm going to make it a little bit darker just on the edges like that and same on this side just a little um, and I think, um, let me think, hmm, hmm, just having a look around, where else, I think maybe under each of the drawers, just a hint, I think I'm just going to do that, and then that might do for now, because we're going to have a look at these details. Now on the chair, there's details, and I just put some, ooh, put some shade under, and that was a mistake. I 
didn't want that squibbly bit there. I'm just going to erase that on the back of it. There we go. That's fine. Happy now. So what I'm going to do is, you see under here, put a little bit of dark to make it look a little bit three-dimensional. I'm going to do the same with all of these dots, circles and things, just to put a little bit of dark underneath to make it look like they're, I can't think of the word, um, the wood is sticking out. Um, oh, we all know, all of you will know, especially those that do card making and things and use their um, cry cut machines to make this sort of effect on their paper. I can't think of the word. Embossed? Is that the right word? Maybe. So we're just going over all of the little details going underneath them. A little bit of shadow. We don't have one on this side because we have the necklace. Um, so take a little bit of time to go under each of these little circles. I think it will be worth it. And we have the handles to do. Now I'd like to do them sort of gold, but because they're small, and we can't fit lots of shades of yellow and browns and things in to make an intricate gold like um, I did with the um, lamp on this page, for example. So I'm going to do it slightly differently um, in a sort of cheats way to make it easier. There's a lot of detail here going on. So what I'm going to use is, if I can find it, oh, here it is, is the um, green gold pencil and it's already gold for us so you don't have to work too hard to uh, get these gold details, we just can apply it. And yes, it's not, I don't think it's as impressive as um, the lamp over here which you can't see, um, this. But it's for these smaller areas I think it's fine so those handles I'm just done quite quite blocky and for this one I'm gonna go a little bit darker near to the near to this bit and just try and go a little bit lighter toward the middle but it's a bit tricky my draw handles look a bit like this but uh, They've um, lost their bolts on the inside, so some of them keep falling off. And they've got a bit bent, so they don't fit properly. But it is an antique desk after all. I could have it and restored. I know someone who will do it. Let's just get around to it. The legs. It also stands on eight little legs. And uh, one of them is loose. So uh, it could do with a bit of work. But hey... It's part of its charm, it never moves anywhere, and each of the legs is a caster, so um, they're, um, they roll, you know, you can roll it around, but I've popped, the, popped some um, cups under them so that it doesn't roll around because I don't want that leg having any pressure put on it. I think if we moved it, it would just break com off completely. Okay, there are our handles. I'm just having a look. We've got this leaf detail here, which I purposely did in colour, so I will do that. And let's see, what should we do? I might do it in a colour to sort of match the cuckoo clock, even though that ended up looking a bit revolting, to be honest. So I shall sharpen this tiny pencil. Here it is. It's, it's huge, isn't it? This is the earth green yellowish. You will have to believe me. But you don't have to use this shade anyway. You can use any green. I'm trying to go a little bit darker at the bottom of the leaf and lighter towards the top. I don't know why I decided that this would be green and nothing else would be a colour. It's a bit odd, isn't it? But, you know, that's just what I thought, so that's that's how it's going to be. Now, I'm not going to actually do any of the things on the desk today because I think that's been quite enough. I've done a fair bit with you and I've had lots of lots of stops and starts so I think there's quite a lot of editing for me to do as well <laughs> so I'm going to go away and do that and um, and leave that for now um, I will probably um, I, I can't promise I'm going to do any more of this page on video but if there are any specific aspects you want me to do let me know 
and uh, and I'll see what I can do. I mean, the person, I'm sorry, I can't remember who asked me if I could do the desk. It's a possibility it might have been the objects on the desk they wanted. I've just remembered the cork board. I was going to do that a slightly different colour. I think I'd like to warm it up slightly. So I'm going to use this brown, which is the, I can't even read it myself, it's the raw umber. I'm sure you can't. And I'm just going to do a sort of circular motion to um, even actually do draw little circles on it to make it look a bit like cork. It's quite tricky in this little space. But I shall just do my best for you. And uh, hopefully, I just want it to have a bit of texture. Because if you, I've got a cork board actually in this room. My children have got them above their desks. They used to, they had all their revision notes on there for GCSE and a list of work to do before college and things like that. So uh, they've, uh, and they've got their GCSE results pinned up on there, I think. Um, not the actual certificates, <laughs> but I wouldn't do that. Um, but, uh, but a little printout of the results there yeah I'm happy with that I think that came out well considering the small amount of effort it took I'm happy anyway I am definitely now going to leave that there and uh, and leave you and uh, but thank you very much for watching hoping that you have a lovely day and happy coloring <laughs>